Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, what has gotten into EA Sports? Because Ultimate Tots content is actually living up to the name. It is very ultimate. We have cheap and fun packs. We have great evolutions. Another one was dropped yesterday. We're getting multiple end of an era SBCs each day, and they're all good to do. This is the best content that we've had on this game in a long time, and it's refreshing to honestly say that. It's a little bit of fun being on this game at the moment. I want to talk about that and the price is crashing yet again on the market for Ultimate Tots cards. It was expected, but guys, cards are down even a million coins more than they were yesterday. So we're going to talk about that and more in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Let's talk about that content from yesterday. First, starting off with the brand new evolution. Back-to-back -back days of really good evos. This one is not a silver upgrade evo, but it allows you to upgrade somebody who maybe is behind the power curve. 86 rated left wing players and below are able to be upgraded through this, and maybe you have somebody in your club. That's what this type of evo is perfect for. Maybe there's somebody in your club that you have not evolved for a long time. You've been waiting for something to boost their overall, and this is giving you a chance to do that. I absolutely love this Evo because it is free, it is easy to do, and it gives very meta playstyle pluses. You get power shot and technical plus, along with some really good stat boost. I think you, do you get a skill move upgrade as well? Maybe not. Um, this is a really good Evo, guys. I mean, when I look into my club and see who's here, this Usman Dembele is a very popular card that a lot of people are doing. 5'5", five, five, 99 pace, 94 dribble, really good evo for him with rapid plus, power shot, and technical. This ASM is high on my list. With these kind of stats, he's going to be very good in game as well. Trickster, power shot, and technical with maxed out pace. Fun looking card there. I mean, there's so many options for this, whether it's a special card that you have or it's uh, you know an evo that you've been waiting to evolve. I heard that the Darwin Nunez, Founders Evolution, finally fits into this, and that's something people have been waiting to Evo for a really long time. If you take a look at Footbin and Foot.gg, it tells the rest of the story, right? You can see that there are a lot of special cards that fit into this Evo. This Parasitch actually looks insane. Now, here's the only problem I have with some of the Evos like this. I wish that for some of the old special cards, we would have some way to get them again, whether it was through like an SBC or an objective pack or something like a chance at getting Parasitch because there's no way you're going to get him now. He's extinct on the market, right? At his max price. But look at the state of that card. Four or five with mid to high 90 stats. That is a insane item. I would love that for a Spurs team. So I just like this Evo. It's great. There's actually hype and evolutions again. Those are meta cards. The playstyle pluses are fantastic. As I mentioned, it's free. What's not to love about that Evo? So I love that. Let's go to SBCs, though, because that's where a lot more of the hype is. Let's start with these player SBCs, guys. We had two, yet again, two days in a row now. We've had two each day, end of an era or flashback SBCs. We're starting off with a flashback Nacho Fernandez, and he is cheap. Only four squads in this economy. Four squads of those ratings are only going to cost you 250,000 coins. This is a pretty good card, especially if you're riding off the Real Madrid high of winning the Champions League. You need some Madrid links aerial intercept and block plus four four which is good for a center back medium high work rates he can also play on the left and the right and look at these play styles he has got every single defensive play style with inter intercept plus and block plus he's got anticipate and aerial plus as well long ball ping pass power header good card really really good card and for the price i think it's solid i'll be honest though for me after doing tiago silva straight away on friday this card does not excite me as much as the tiago silva did if this would have just dropped and we didn't have tiago silva maybe he would have a little bit more hype but as you can see on footbin as well this was kind of like the actually the worst sbc of yesterday 43 percent upvoted for a 250k nacho fernandez flashback card which is not bad at all. Nice Real Madrid links there. Links, actually a perfect link to the brand new and upgraded Jolsalu. So another reason to maybe do Nacho Fernandez. But he's overshadowed a little bit by this absolute beast of a card, Marco Royce. This one's an insta complete for me, but it's more for nostalgia reasons, guys. I've used a special Marco Royce, I think, every year in this game since I started playing FIFA. Um, maybe not all the way back to FIFA 15, but at least since like FIFA 18, I was looking through some 
some of the old Marco Royce cards. And this is a very nostalgic card here because Royce has been in Dortmund for forever. I mean, the Tots Moments SBC last year was crazy. FIFA 22, we had multiple good cards. The Foot Birthday in FIFA 21, I used the heck out of that card. This Tots in FIFA 20, all the Player of the Months in FIFA 19. The Foot Birthday with the Sprinkles card in FIFA 18. He's had so many incredible versions throughout the years. Sad to see him leave Dortmund. And especially sad to see him leave under the circumstances yesterday. Um, but this card is a great piece to end off his Dortmund career in a FIFA sense. Finesse plus technical and Trivella plus five star, four star. Would have been nice to have the five five, but we can't complain too much. He can play center forward, striker, left mid, and cam. Great for squad building opportunities. And his stats look end game guys look at the stats in this card it is truly end game you look at all the 95 and above stats in the individual categories here it's insane 97 positioning finishing shot power 98 composure 99 curve insane card the only weird part is the sprint speed being 88 he's got uh what's his his controlled accelerate type with 99 acceleration and 88 sprint speed so maybe you do put like I don't know, an engine on this card to like boost up the sprint speed as much as you can, or I don't know what kind of chem style you're putting on this card. Footpin says, actually, Footpin says a shadow or a hunter is the best for this card. Uh, I guess because that gives the biggest pace boost to that sprint speed, right? It's kind of what you're going for, or the basic uh, chemistry style as well. Basic, does that give a boost? Yeah, basic boost the sprint speed to 92. That might even be a play. People overlook that, but basic. Uh, Chem style might be pretty good. This card's insane, honestly. Really, really insane card. And it's also an SBC that we can craft towards, which is something a lot of us have been wanting as well. I think the price is okay. I mean, a lot of people look at this Tots Moments card and they say, oh my gosh, Nate, this card was 400K and now it's 200K and this one's 900,000 coins. He's not worth the price. But the Playstyle Plus upgrade from this version, which has Quick Step, Incisive, and Chip Shot, to the end of an era which has finesse technical entry vela that's a huge upgrade even though the stat upgrade's not as big 900,000 coins it seems like a little bit extra but again you see those stats on the card it's it's insane so um it's an end game card get it crafted if you want to get it crafted it's very i think it's good value like just because it's an end of an era marco royce it's got all that nostalgic to it as well i'm doing this sbc i have no idea how he's fitting into my team to be completely honest um but we're doing the sbc and he will be in there because that card looks insane his finesse shots are going to be absolute broken you know they are he also also has incisive pass which is really nice as a center attacking mid I don't know. I, I could go on for days about this card. I'm super excited to get him in the team. That was a great SBC. Let's move on to the upgrade packs, though, because we had three yesterday. Three brand new upgrade packs. First of all, probably the biggest surprise, we expected EA to do more upgrade packs, right? I said that in yesterday's video. Since it's Ultimate Tots, seemed like they were going to go that sort of way. Yesterday, we got the Premier League Tots guarantee. They just simply said, hey, this SBC from about six weeks ago, we're going to bring it right back. Same requirements as it was during Prem Tots, 86 and 88 with a team of the season required. This was the most expensive guaranteed Tots pack of all the individual leagues, but it's Premier League. So, you know, it's there and I like it. I like it. Who wants, who wouldn't want this SBC? You know what I'm saying? We never turned down a guaranteed League Tots SBC to craft. Of course, it does take a little bit of a grind, but you think about all the Prem Tots cards that are still out there for the packing. It is a fun one, and it is a very easy craft with just two squads to go and do that one. So we do not turn that one down. But here's what I'm wondering. Is this going to create some sort of trend, right? Are we going to get the re-release of the Bundesliga, of League One? Of Are we going to go through each week of team of the season what we've gone through already are they going to drop a new one of these every single day that's almost what it seems like to me starting off uh with premier league that was the first league of tots we had the live tots as well on friday so it's kind of adding up today might be a bundesliga tots guaranteed so that's kind of the trend that we're starting to see with this 138k i don't remember how much the bundesliga tots guaranteed was but i think it was like 70 or 80 thousand coins so shouldn't be as expensive as this prem tots one but that's something that could be coming today as well based off of that we'll see if it actually is a trend we also have the 85 plus major leagues triple upgrade pack which in 85 times three and they're only requiring an 85 rated squad for this. Sure, I know from a value perspective, you might look at that and say, yo, I'm turning in 11 uh, or 985s and 284s to get the 85 rated squad 
for an 85 plus times three. But that's a really good value pack, especially with how easy that fodder is to get with the major leagues only in this pack with ultimate tots and packs. I don't know the math on how many team of the seasons this is going to enable you to have a chance at packing, but it's at least half of the tots team. So that's pretty cool. I haven't seen any of these opened. I haven't even done it myself. My only critique is I wish we could do this every single day. Like if this was refreshing every day, that'd be nice. Uh, once every couple days is a little bit disappointing, but that's a super nice upgrade pack as well. Absolutely no complaints. Now our kind of daily repeatable crafting SBC is the 83 times 10 with the exact same requirements as before. I'm glad they didn't go with the 86 double because with all the SBCs that are out, this 83 times 10 isn't one that we're doing every day to try to get team of the seasons from. Pretty low chance of that, to be completely honest, with the ultimate Tots cards and packs. What you're chasing here is higher rated fodder to put into exchanges and then also to help you craft the other player SBCs like the end of an eras and stuff like that that you're trying to get done. So those 83 10s are very important as a part of the grind. So we absolutely love those. Now with SBCs, we got to talk about SBC fodder. Guess what? It's on the move. GG's if you invested. I mean, on the stream on Friday, we were looking at 88s really closely. And I mean, we got a little bit lucky with that Prem Tods coming back. But 88s literally on Friday were 7,000 coins. And yesterday they went from 7K, which was still good, all the way up to 9,000 coins. These cards are only going higher. We're getting two, at least one, maybe two end of an era SBCs every single day. More upgrade packs. Fodder is going to do really well this week and it's going to continue to rise. So if I had fodder invested, which I do have some, I would hold. I think you can lazy list it right now, but 88s might hit like 12 or 13K this week if it keeps going the way that it's going and those cards couldn't continue to rise. So that's something I would do. And then if you're like, Nate, is there still an investment on fodder that could be made? Maybe you could look at 85s and 86s because they're not up as much as other fodder ratings. Uh, I mean, yesterday, I mean, 3.7K up to four and a half for 86s. So they're definitely up, right? They're up like five, 600 coins a card. Uh, 85s were at minimum price at 2.3. Now they're 2.6, but those could keep going as well. I think these though are probably the biggest ROI potential. Stock your club with some 85s um, and maybe some 87s as well. But 89s, 90s, even those are starting to go up as there's all these SBCs out that people want to do. I only see fodder going up at least till the middle of this next week. So that's kind of the fodder update. GG's if you invested there. I think TOTS cards uh, and Team of the Weeks are even maintaining pretty good prices too. Last thing about yesterday is, of course, the Champions League final. We got to mention this. Joe Salou got his upgrade I chat, I, guys, I just called you chat. This is a YouTube video, not a Twitch stream. I think that this card was upgraded, not even kidding, within 15 or 20 minutes after the full-time whistle blew for the Champions League final. That is what we call a quick update and really good stuff from EA Sports. The plus two for Joe Salou, he looks unbelievable. I know a lot of people are wanting to use this card right now. Also, Tony Cruz got updated uh, with a third play style plus. I don't know if he actually got a stat boost or not, but I just ended up flipping one of these Tony Cruz cards. Um, he was like after the game, he went up and then he crashed uh, because he got his upgrade, right? He went from two mil and went to all the way to 2.3 mil and then he crashed just down to 1.5. And I actually bought one at 1.56 and I just sold it for 2.3 mil. So I made a cheeky 600K in the blink of an eye, but that's how a lot of the Real Madrid cards are actually moving on the market right now. As I took a look at some of other Madrid players' cards, like Bellingham from 120K, he's 180 right now. I think Vinny Jr. as well. Um, some of his cards are going up a lot because people are super duper hyped coming back to this game to use the players that they saw do really good yesterday and probably get some links to Joe Salou for those newly upgraded cards. So I wanted to kind of mention that because that is, of course, a big part of the market right now with those cards moving and that Joe Salou and Tony Cruz upgrade. You're probably going to see a lot of Joe Salou in a weekend this weekend, I would imagine, if you haven't finished already. Now, Let's take a look at these ultimate team of the season cards and talk market for a second because, guys, I remember in yesterday's video looking at Harry Kane and actually buying Harry Kane for 1.08 million coins. Um, right after I ended the video yesterday, I picked up a Harry Kane for 1.08. I sold it for 1.22. And right now, Harry Kane is, as far as I'm concerned, not even selling on the market. He is minimum price, 800 thousand coins down 400k in one day this is how basically all of the ultimate tots card graphs look just absolutely tanked yesterday 
for a number of reasons. Here's the biggest price drop, in my opinion. I think that Messi is pretty crazy. Who was it? Oh, Bonmati, 720K. Mbappe's 10 mil. He was 15. That's down 4 million coins. VVD was 4 mil. He's now 3.4. Chawinga's 400K. Salah's under a million. Leao is 1.1. We could go through this whole entire team and just look at how much the prices has dropped. It is absolutely crazy. Now, some big reasons for that is... Yes, the store, because we had some tradable store packs that were dropped yesterday and some more other store packs. The one that we mentioned last week that a lot of people weren't a big fan of me talking about, but we knew it was going to be big. And it, this is the pack right here that's doing a lot of damage. The Ultimate Tots Prism Pack, but all these store packs, right? It's Ultimate Tots, the best of Tots are in packs. People are going to go spend some coins on these, probably spending FC points as well, which we don't like. We, do, we say to not do because... It's not worth spending your money on this game, as we always say, but people are spending coins on these for sure because that is why, number one, you're getting tradable supply on the market. It's obvious. People are opening this tradable 750k pack for the TOTS moments or the TOTS uh, that are in packs at the moment, uh, which is the ultimate TOTS, which you get out of that, supplying those tradable, and at the same time, the 750k pack, which gives you 11 TOTS, it is making these cards drop. And that is, uh, that, that's the fact of the matter, guys. Also, with the prices dropping on the team of the season cards in Ultimate Tots, look at the state of other Tots cards. Dybala, what was he on Friday? Oh, yeah, 1.9. He's 1.3 million coins, absolutely tanking. Remember when Giroud was 600K on Friday as well? Just to look at some of the Serie A team of the season cards. Giroud is, oh yeah, 400,000 coins as well. He's down a couple hundred K. Actually, he just rebounded. He was 400K flat. Now he's like 440. But like just looking through even some of the uh, La Liga and Liga F cards, cards that didn't even get into Ultimate Tots. Felix, under a mil. Griezmann, 2.1. He's dropping a bunch. Um, Ramos is down. Ru Rodrigo is down. Rudiger's actually not down, but that's, you know, Real Madrid hype. Also with the Royce link there too. Prices on this game continue to drop and it's exactly playing out how we thought it was going to play out, guys, right? It's the low prices on these Ultimate Tots cards and how much they're dropping is 100% impacting the rest of the market. And it's going to continue to make these cards um, or the rest of the market, not just these Ultimate Tots, it's probably going to make the rest of that continue to drop. I don't think the prices are going to drop as much like Chowinga going down another 200k today probably not going to happen right i do think prices are going to drop today on sunday on some of the ultimate tots cards therefore impacting the rest of the market but i don't think the price drops are going to be as drastic so if there's cards you're interested in buying i think it's a little bit safer to look into that today again i don't think i would say if there's a card in ultimate tots that you want for your team i don't think i'm saying you're buying it today um, i just think you're watching the price for more drops today and potentially monday to tuesday saying all right here's an opportunity for me to buy this card and hold it for a few more days still euros content is upcoming we're going to be very careful about holding anything into a big promo and a big time in this game like that uh, but ultimate tots is absolutely continuing to crash the market now Let's talk about today on Sunday, right? That's everything that happened yesterday. That's kind of a rundown of what's going on in this game at the moment. Let's talk about Sunday content today because without content's been going, there could be a lot of good stuff today in this game as well, especially more end of an era or flashback cards. Are we getting two more again today is the question that I have. So couple of things I want to mention about this, right? This is the tweet from FIFA Trading Romania on, uh, I think it was Wednesday uh, of last week or, or Thursday, kind of telling us about what was coming. There's still other names that have not been leaked yet, but still very possible. Anthony Martial, I guess Joao Felix and Trent Alexander-Arnold are also other names that either people are speculating could be flashbacks or end of an era's or maybe there's some actual validity to a leak. A flashback Trent Alexander-Arnold would actually make a whole lot of sense. He hasn't had a card for a while in this game, and he's had plenty of team of the season cards in the past that were very, very hype, included this one, including this one in, in FIFA 20. Um, like a, a flashback Trent would be absolutely sick. And I think even uh, FIFA Training Romania in one of his re reply tweets yesterday did a hint. Somebody asked, any Liverpool players this week? He said, yes, I think Trent would be a front runner for a flashback for a Liverpool player. He also said that Cruz is not scheduled to come. So the road to the final is all that Cruz is going to get. Uh, but again, we got Royce with the Todd's card. So Cruz getting one, I guess, 
was possible, but EA did not want to do it. But the road to the final makes sense because that's a bit different than a team this season. So anyway, I don't know who we're getting today, guys. We're getting probably one, maybe two, and Debonera slash flashback cards still. Watch for leaks. I almost guarantee you it'll be leaked before content because these guys probably know who it is already. And they're going to be spilling the beans and giving some info on that before content today. I would be surprised if it wasn't. So watch out for that for sure. And then also today, Sunday, right? It's icon pick day or hero player pick day. I mean, they, they can't take away the icon pick right now. Ultimate tots without an icon pick and the way that content is in this game without an SBC like this would be, I don't know, blasphemy, right? I hope they just refresh the 89 plus um, icon pick today and then maybe they're going to bring back a hero pick as well. We didn't have a hero pick last week, you know, the every other week with the hero pick sort of thing. They could bring that back again today as well. Don't know how much hype there'll be for it, but it could be there. Um, just as long as they keep the icon pick around for something to craft into, that would be nice. The other question that I have today is we have so many upgrade packs right now, right? We got the 82 plus, we got the 82 plus e-figs, and we have other upgrade packs too, right? Like the 8310 and the 85 plus. Are we getting, because Sundays have been in the last five, six weeks in this game, we've been getting the premium league upgrade packs. Are we getting premium league upgrades like all re-released for Ultimate Tots so that we could grind Prem upgrades, that we could grind La Liga upgrades if we really wanted to? That would seem like a lot of SBCs that would really clutter up the SBC section. So I'm not convinced and I'm not sure if they're doing that. I'm just throwing that idea out there because technically... Sundays of the day that we get the premium upgrades. The player pick, 82 plus player pick is still here. I'm thinking I'm going to hit more of these 82 plus major league upgrades for right now. Not that I know that they're better or not. I'm just thinking that I like the two players back more than I like uh, the chance at getting all the TOTS cards from a non-league specific upgrade pack. But I'm really curious to see today if they do drop the premiums because again Sundays have been premiums days but again I, I don't even know which one I would grind if they were to drop those if it would be worth it to turn in all those non-rares for premiums only from one specific league when you have all of these cards from all the different leagues in packs at the moment I just hope they keep the 82 plus player pick around on Monday tomorrow because that allows you to get a decent chance at fodder and every single league of team of the season player, regardless, whether it's a women's card, whether it's like Messi, Ronaldo, and all that stuff. So it's not efig specific. So we'll see if we get anything along those lines today. And I guess maybe another evolution. I mean, back-to-back -back days with good evos. Can we go three or three? Let's end off with a pack here. Um, let's go. Let's go with a Tots guaranteed. I've got two of these. Probably need a Tots card on my club. It's gonna be a blue, of course. It's Spanish. Bon nah, she wouldn't be in this. Um, Marino. I only pack Tots Lives from this, bro. And now that I don't need a Tots Live, that's, of course, when I'm packing this one. When those are still inflated on the market because EA required them. We get ourselves a Mikel Marino. Let's actually not end on that one. Let's do one more because I'm feeling pack packy, packable, feeling packish. I don't know. Come on, something good. That's a regular blue. It's English. Left back, left back. Ah, Davis, man, Cook. I mean, hey, these are just fodder simulators anyway. Not even three playstyle pluses. That's going to go into the Marco Royce SBC, and I will continue crafting that, get my other upgrade packs done, and I will hopefully see you guys for a Twitch stream today as we chase Ultimate Tots cards and craft SBCs and play some weekend links. So if you enjoyed the video today, guys, drop a thumbs up on it, comment below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys in the stream today. That link is down below in the description if you want to check us out there. It's been Nathan Foot Account. See you there. Peace. Out.